Hi, this is Susan from the Graceful Lily Market outfit of the day. This is all Lucky Brand shoes from Universal Thread and Target. Like the details of the blouse. Right now we're in my room that I have storage. It's a guest room. I call it my pink room and it's a mess right now um, but this is raw footage so this is where I store the clothing I'm gonna not have much clothing in the store anymore and again my eBay store is the graceful lily market I will put a link in this video and then just packing supplies lamps extra lamps that I have that I was gonna sell but they're spowed and I really want them just don't have a place for them my desk which I chalk painted and I haven't been able to use it since I store stuff on top of it and I just made this it looks a little wonky it's my first attempt for a pincushion lady. This is a half a half lady. And I have some more there that I want to do projects with. These are my dough bowls that nobody wants on the table because they're huge. These are my dough bowls that nobody wants. Lamp that I got from Facebook Facebook Marketplace. Really lovely details. It was refurbished and I love it for this room and I have this painting that will be in this room I found it at an antique shabby chic store in Arcadia Florida where they have a strip of um, antique stores so this is an actual oil painting I need a frame for it. I might just hang it the way it is, but I'm looking for a frame. But I can't wait to put that up in there. And I plan to put it on this wall. Right there. On top of the day bed. You can't tell right now, but it's a day bed. And this is where I take my pictures with my... Uh, ring light and I just have stuff stored on it Hi again, okay, so this is my haul uh, I think this might have been last week's I went to Goodwill But let's see I found this Hand made or clay I don't see what The bottom is signed, but there's a signature there are assigned teacup um, teapot and it came with these matching cups the cups look like they've never been used here's the signature again and uh, there's four of them now we're in my laundry room because this is where I have a process when I when I bring in my thrift finds, I leave them in my car for two days so that he can kill any germs or whatever. And then I bring it into the laundry room, which we, I have a big like folding table. And um, and that's where I uh, go through my stuff and uh, clean everything off before I bring it in the house. So that's that set. Uh, for the whole set, it was six ninety nine. It was a five piece set, six ninety nine. So, and then I saw these. I actually used to love. I don't know if you're familiar with Warren Kim Kimball, and I got this dish set, and it's from nineteen ninety eight, so it's vintage. And uh, for the whole set, it was twenty four ninety nine, fourteen pieces. So I got four of the salad plates, four of the bowls, 
I see little scratch marks, but I'm hoping to take that off with um, barkeepers. I got four of the big plates and four, no, three of these cups. So I will sell them individually. So it won't be so heavy, heavy to ship. And then over here, I don't know what, what came over me to buy all these dishes because I don't like to ship heavy items. But I saw this set from Homer Laughlin. Uh, it's restaurant wear. So I liked it. I like the pattern. Kind of reminds me of Art Deco or, you know, that era. 20s look um so this set is pretty big comes with the little bowls they're all like unused condition i mean for restaurant over i don't think it was used and i have the bowls of salad plates i have a large serving dish it's hard to get everything out because it's pretty heavy and I don't know if I have cups I didn't find any cups but I have a huge set and ho hopefully uh, well I'm going to be selling it individually since it's going to be too heavy to ship and then I I just I'm a, I'm a kid from the 70s so I love ho Holly Hobby so I got a Holly Hobby dish set. I will probably sell those if I can focus. Sell those individually. And this is the Pattern Green Girl. And I don't know where the year is. Somewhere. It's probably the 70s. So I have the cups. I have the the uh, saucers. I have a serving plate. Um. Okay, so that's that. Let me put this away. I will be washing these next and then putting them away. I have some storage in that pink room, which is my office slash guest room. Then I have storage here in the laundry room. I have some cupboards that I, it's going to be hard to open this, that I put some of my stuff in. And then also in the garage I have, um, I have a cabinet in the garage. Okay, now this. I haven't, uh, it's still in bags over here. If I can get closer here. Um, I don't know, I saw this vase and I thought it was unique. Um, looks like it's been hand painted. I believe it, it was only $1.99, but I believe it says it's made in Italy. Of course, these stickers are right on top of the signature. Let me make sure, but I don't know, it's hard to read what is, might not be Italy, I don't know, looks like it might say Hank, I'm not sure, <laughs> but I thought it was Italy uh, with the sticker over it. But I thought it was unique. It does depict kind of like a, see a mountain there. Looks kind of like Italian Italy. Who knows? I don't know. If you know, please comment below. <laughs> okay. And then I just love finding like handcrafted pottery. I thought this was unique because I usually find pieces that are dark in color. This was also $1.99 and 
I like that it had pink. So it's really, really nice. Nice soft colors. And it looks like it has never been used. There's a there's a signature, but I don't know what that says. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what else I can find in here. Okay, this might be newer, but I just love the concept of this. It, this was $2.99. Uh, it didn't have might have had a modern sticker I'm not sure but i love the idea of this yeah like i said 2.99 i love the idea of this being a flower frog so put plants here and in here make a nice bouquet thinking i could use this from outside um where i'm waiting for a planter stand that I ordered on Amazon and I'm gonna put all my nice pieces that I find on on eBay this I won't be selling I think I want to keep it well because it doesn't seem to be vintage want to keep in the vintage uh, theme I might sell new stuff but mostly vintage okay now see this I found it might not be that old is made by is made in Indonesia by Furio it's plates uh, by Gustav Klimt he's an artist and I just thought of course this is not an actual this is like a print but it was a dollar ninety-nine per plate and I think I have four of them Yes, four. But I checked comps and they seem to do pretty well. So, and I just loved the the picture. So that'll be something. All these plates. And what else? Okay, so I found these plates and I thought they were unique enough to buy. They were fish plates and they're made in East Germany. I can't read the part, the, the maker. But anyway, I have several of these plates and they all have different, I believe this might be a trout. They all have different um, fish. Let's see. Next time I'll have this more ready. But I want it to be a surprise to me too because it's been a, a while. Here is another fish. I don't know if it's the same. I don't think so. Nope. They're all different, but for people that like to decorate in nautical, you know, coastal, these will be, but it's more like a salad plate. You can use it as, as, um, you can use it for decor or like take it outside and serve some hors d'oeuvres more plates I thought they were really nice it kind of reminds me of those dishes um the, those would be hand painted though but they're Victorian maybe that are up I know they're antiques that have fish on the plates but these seem to be transfer wear. But they're really cute. 
There's another one. Okay, so that's six plates in total. Let's see what else we have. I really like this. Sometimes I see Mexican pottery and I really love it. Kind of reminds me of a uh, kind of a boho. So here's a salt and pepper shaker. It doesn't have, oh, it does have a mark. It does have a, a maker's mark, uh, but I do not understand what it says. It's like very light and it's not very clear. But anyways, these look like Mexican pottery, but look how pretty they are. They were $2 each. Don't know yet what I would put it, how much I would price it at. I gotta look at comps, but that is cute. They look like they've never been used. Okay, this, I just like the picture, and I don't know if it's wood or a thin piece of terracotta, but it looks Mexican. It's not signed, but I like the picture. Would make a nice decorative piece. Could be boho looking. Uh, it costs $2.99. I got a... Um, Kind of check this out on comps and who might make it but it looks mexican to me hmm, uh this i got for myself because i kind of collect milk glass i try to find unique pieces um, I'm trying to get away from the white because I have so much of that, but it's hard to find pink and blue. So I got this piece because I've never seen it. It cost $1.99, so it was, wasn't a lot to spend, so I decided to make it part of my collection. Now this I was a little iffy about because I don't know if you need a basket for it. But I just like the rustic aspect of it. I like the green and the uh, white, creamy white. Um, I don't know how this would be used. I mean, I know it's a basket, but it looks more decorative than anything. I even thought of painting it white, but I think I might just keep it this way. It cost actually too much. <laughs> $4.99, I try to keep under $5. $4.99, I'll have to check comps, but I thought it was pretty, it was pretty with the roses. Kind of shabby chic. Okay, now I gotta go get some more, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I brought another box. It was in the garage. I hope you can see this. Okay. So again, I love pottery. I might keep this. It was $5. I mean, it's it's actually from Horchow, which is part of Neiman Marcus or one of those. And it says where it's made from, but I can't make it out. Hold on, there's something in it. I bought some other stuff and we stuck it in here. Okay. I don't know if you can make that out. I wonder if you're seeing this backwards and I'm seeing it backwards on the screen. Anyway, I really liked it. Um, I might keep this, don't know. Yet, I'll check comps and kind of determine if I want to keep it or not. And then I found, I got this toothpick holder, kind of like a purplish with white milk glass. Uh, 
um, I should know this by now because I collect milk glass, but I don't know who makes this. And uh, I did pay up a little bit for this little toothpick holder. I mean, $4, $3.99. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I might keep it if I don't make much of a profit or sell it. I don't know. I don't know yet, so I want comps. This I got for myself because I collect a little bit of the cobalt blue and it's uh has a cork. Nice glass piece. There so you can see the whole thing. It's I mean hold on. Okay, it does say ultimate, ultimate Vodka. Don't know if that's a brand, but I liked the glass. It's pretty heavy. And um, for $4.99, I thought it was worth it. Pretty heavy and thick. What else? I got shark's teeth <laughs> for a friend of mine that collects them. It was $6.99 for the bag. I mean, it's a pretty substantial amount of shark's teeth. We live uh, near the beaches here in Southwest Florida. So we have uh, Englewood Beach, Boca Grande, and Venice Beach are the closest ones to me. And Venice Beach usually has a lot of shark's teeth. And um, yeah, so this is just better because you got little tiny ones and big ones. I wonder if these, I wonder if these look like rocks, but I'm not sure. Mike could be a tooth, but it's supposed to be a bag of shark's teeth. So she'll be happy about that. Let's see what else. I was happy. Next time I'll get this all prepped with all these bags. Okay, and then um, sometimes when I see Lennox, I'll pick it up if it's cheap enough. I mean, this is a little vase. I just love the details in it. It was two ninety nine, and I think I had fifteen percent off. Um, I just love the details of it. I mean, I know that it's very uh, congested out there with on eBay with Lennox. And this is a toothpick holder in crystal. It's beautiful. I just couldn't resist it. It was a dollar. And now my camera's dying, but let's get some of these before I recharge. Now this I bought for myself because again I love blue. And I don't think it's going to be much, much of anything. I'm not sure if it's anything. I mean, it was $7.99, which I just like the color and the ruffle top. But it's for me. I don't know if it's anything special, but to me I like it, so $7.99. Minus 15%, I think. Now this is a little set. It was $8.99, which I think is too much, but it was it's hand painted and it comes with a little might be a kid's thing. I could find the other pieces. But it's, uh, I think it's, uh, it's Lefton, actually. Lefton. And it comes with a little creamer. Look how cute that is. Could be, a, like, like I said, a little kid play set. And I have other pieces in here. They separated everything soon. Let's 
see if I can find it before I run out of juice. Oh, this is not it. Where are you? Hmm. I don't see it anymore. It's a glass glass. And it's small. Oh, I think I found another piece. Here is the little sugar thing. I think that was it. It's a three yes, it's a three-piece set. So it's the sugar and the creamer with the tray. Isn't that cute? Hand painted from Lefton. No chips chips or cracks. So let me just go and charge up the battery. I I should Buy another battery and then we'll continue okay so I'm back it took a while to recharge I think I've learned that I need to buy a separate battery so that I don't have to wait for it to recharge okay so the rest of the stuff I got it ready on the table let's see if we can see okay so I found this and I thought it was so cute I have a thing for bears it's pretty big and uh, it's ceramic and it's a music box. It's by Schmid, Japan. And it does play that song in one of those. Oh God, which one is it? The Sound of Music or Mary Poppins, one of those. I get mixed up between the two movies. But it's really cute. I think it would look good in a boy's room. But how sweet it is. And then he's holding a book and it says, Bears, as everyone knows, are brilliant, beautiful, brave, benef ben blissful, bountiness, Brainy, brainy, big hearted, bubbly, buoyant. And I don't see any chips or cracks. Oh, I turned it off by accident. Okay. Um, so then, like, you can choose to turn it off with this level. Don't see any chips or cracks. I think I had seen, like, a little paint loss somewhere, but I can't find it it was like very it was like a flea bite but right now i can't seem to find it but he just seems perfect it's really cute isn't it i have a thing for bears and dolls and amongst other things okay so then i found these this couple i also like this kind of stuff um, this is also made in Japan uh, by Walls Wales made in Japan and there seems to be a dedication here from 1960 so that's how old these are something about June 20th which is funny because I was born June 19th and this one says 1960 but I was born in 1970 um, something about little Randy, but it's like, it seems like a pencil, but it's like almost engraved. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, I thought it was cute. I like the pink on it, pink and some gray. Um, so... We'll see how those do. Then I like everything that's hand painted. So it says hand painted and Japan and some symbol of some sort. So I have to look up that symbol. I don't know if it focuses there. 
And uh, it's just a vase, it's hand painted. Doesn't seem to be any transfer where it's all hand painted. I don't see any chips, just lo a little loss of the gold. But it's really pretty. I like, like I said, I like anything that's hand painted. So I always pick that up. And then I have a thing for Boyd's Bears. I know they don't, there's not much uh, uh, value to them, but when I find something special, I pick it up. Uh, this is a Coca-Cola one, little Coca-Cola bottle. Still has the label. Her name is Kaylee. And I think I picked it up. I think I took the tag off. I think it was two or three dollars. Um, I haven't run comps on it yet, but maybe ten to fifteen dollars. Not sure, depending on what I see, what it goes for on eBay. And again, my eBay store is the Graceful Lily Market. Okay, let's see what else. I really like this. Let me put this away. So I really like this. I love pottery. And I found this. It says, that's all folks. And love that popcorn. So this is kind of like a crock, uh, what do you call this, speckled blue. I know it has a different name. But um, it's really heavy. It's not signed, but it's really nicely made. So maybe it had a sticker or could have been a pottery, pot, pottery or potterist, is that a thing that made this? And um, so this is really nice. I even thought of keeping it, but huh, I don't know. We'll see. I don't have space for that. This too big. Then I really like this. I don't know if it's Murano, but look at this. It's a pelican, all glass. And what's so cute about it is that you see a little fish right there. So he has it in his mouth. And I paid $5 for this, and there's a sticker there. I'm going to try not to ruin it and see what the sticker says. Try not to rip out the lettering. It says hand painted. I think it says hand painting. painted. Might not say that, but it seems to be a modern piece because it has a barcode. Oops, it came off from 2005 it is made in China so it's not Murano but I'm gonna have to I need glasses for this uh, the sticker did come off but I don't know what that says it's a little faded parrots or nah I don't know I'm gonna have to take a better look at that don't know but it's really cute had to pick that up then I saw these I like sometimes I will go to the linen section if I see something that catches my eye so these are napkins and I like I don't know why I love this crocheting um, I have uh, like dresser scarves with this material all over my bedroom and these were uh, 59 cents each and they might have been even 15% off but I have one two three four five six so that's gonna go on my eBay now um, because I have so much stuff that I haven't listed yet I might might I might take a little time to post it because it just seems it's just, um, it takes so long 
for me to post things because I want to be very detailed and I uh, want to make sure I measure everything. Uh, I know that some people can just post, 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 but I want to make sure every every detail is on there. So if there's anything that you see that you're interested, just uh, shoot me a message. Uh, my email is the graceful lily market at gmail.com and you know we can uh, negotiate something and then i found this this is, i went to jacksonville to visit my daughter who goes to college there and i found this seems to be like a bread dish now I thought this was 50% off, but when I got to the register, 50% off was only for clothing. So this is, this was $5. Bavarian. Now there seems to be like a little, I don't know, shadow there on my hand. I don't know if it's the glazing or just a stain. I don't know if you can see that, but I just love the color and it, uh, the flowers look like they're hand painted. Yes, they look hand painted. And then it came with these, I'm thinking they're salt cellars. Came with six of them. They're all signed and they were a dollar each. Thought it was going to be half, so I'll see how much they go for on eBay, but they're all nice sh shape, no cracks, and they're all signed, like I said. And then again, I don't, I just find these for a dollar or two, and I just love that they're hand painted. And this one says, made in Japan hand painted so I don't know but it's I just love anything hand painted some of them are signed some of them are not I just pick them up anyway because I just think they're so beautiful that somebody hand painted these it's all hand painted and I like the detail it has little handles in the plate so we'll see how that goes I usually sell them between ten to fifteen dollars. Though I did have one that was very elaborate, detailed looking, and I did sell it for thirty dollars. So it all depends on. Um, I usually put my stuff on buy it now. Um, once in a while, I'll do auction if I'm not sure what it's worth, and I'll start it low. But most of my stuff is buy it now. Now this I bought because I liked that it was terracotta and actually it, I spent five dollars on this and it is signed it has like a pineapple um, symbol there or marking I don't know it says I don't know L W something and I don't know and I think I see the year 2001 so it's almost vintage but I just liked it's cute little teapot colorful no chips or cracks I checked before I bought I usually check but sometimes you don't notice the chips but Look, even terracotta, so it's painted terracotta, but inside is painted as well. So I don't know how much I would, I could sell this for. I would have to check comps. Now I don't usually pick up clear glass, but when I see a piece that I like, I just have to, I don't even know the pattern. I don't know much about clear glass. But this is a butter dish and it was three dollars. A lot of the clear sometimes is very inexpensive to buy at Goodwill. But um, it has no chips, 
cracks. I just thought it was really beautiful for a nice dinner. Um, it, it's just very beautiful. I mean, even if I, I sell it for $10, I'm more than doubling my money. So I picked that up. Here's another clear, but I really like this. So it's a creamer and the sugar. But look at the handles, like bubble handles, and there's etching on it. You can actually feel it, so it's not like drawn on. Etching, it's like a floral etching. I don't see any markings, but I'm sure it's some kind of pattern. I'd have to research it or Google search it. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how that goes. And one of my favorite colors is blue and pink. So whenever I see blue or pink, I just pick it up and I collect Fenton. This was only a dollar. I'm not sure if it's Fenton, but it was only a dollar and has that kind of, I forgot what this is called. Uh, but hobnail and the edges look like milk glass. But I might keep this because I have a nice collection of Fenton glass and even though it's not might not be Fenton glass I'm not sure I, it would it just goes with the with my collection now this I have no idea what this is it could be a it could be a brandy it was two dollars a brandy glass I just love the color because I don't see a lot of uh, colored especially blue or pink in brandy glasses so and I just like that it's etched I think this is not uh, cut glass but molded because it's not sharp but it's really pretty so I have to check on that so I'm making this video without checking comps because it's just easier for me to do the video when I bring in stuff than for me to wait uh, to do the research and then it's just gonna take longer for me to to uh, make a video and then this I bought for myself because I needed one and look how beautiful this is wow six dollars is worth it I mean it's huge I can mix batter in there no chips or cracks it looks like it hasn't been used I do see some scratches, so I guess it was it's been used, but it just looks it looks brand new, and it is from um, what do you call it? So it is microwavable anchor hawking. So it's a nice big piece. Then I bought these. I got I have two of them. I think this is for butter. I'm not sure, but I like the cloche, so I might use that uh, separately for displaying little things, or I might keep them together. They might be for tea lights. I'm not sure. Um, I think it might because it has a little cloudiness in it, so it might have been some heat in here. I gotta see how that washes off. Uh, so I have two of these, and they were two dollars each. So I have two. Now, this I thought was a vase because I was looking for something Victorian because I had just purchased uh, from the Recycle Life. I, I, um, if you haven't seen them, you need to go and look at their YouTube page. It's wonderful, but um, they do sales. So, um, actually, it's Selena, and she is the vintage bombshell. She's one of the girls on the vintage, uh, uh, in the Recycled Life. I bought from her sale uh, some beaded, vintage beaded fluff tulips. And so I wanted a vase, something Victorian looking. So then I, I got this because it was only, they were asking for $30 and they had it on sale for $7. It's hand painted, very detailed gold. Then when I got home, I realized wait something's missing here and then I noticed there was a nail 
So I think it was a lamp of some sort. If anybody knows what this could have been, just leave me a comment. Uh, if it was a lamp, I think I would try to make it a lamp again. Um, though I don't know if the screw being there, how you would get the outlet. Maybe that's temporary. I don't know. So if anybody knows, just let me know. But it looked like it was it's missing something. I thought maybe a cork, but I don't know. This is so pretty that I just, for $7, I was like, you know what? I'll take it. There's no signatures no mark markers but i don't know somebody put a sticker there this is a some a in a slash maybe don't know so then i got this door stopper that was cute for somebody who likes to play golf and um i'm sure it's a reproduction i uh, got it for three dollars um, the painting is really nice the paint not a lot of chipping maybe a little dust I gotta clean it up but I think it's good cute as a door stopper so I gotta check comps for that I'm sure there's many of them online so we'll just see um, now this is a great buy now I collect German um, nutcrackers and I usually stay, stick to buying the Steinbach and here's the how the label looks like. The sticker came off because of course Goodwill put it on there. So these are usually I buy them for fifty dollars in during the Chris during Christmas time. Um, at Goodwill, not Goodwill, at um, Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Home Goods, and they'll go 50% off after Christmas. And I'll be lucky if I find one. And I did one time, so I was able to pay $25 for one. Originally, these are $100 if you buy it from the company or you buy it retail, but I was surprised because. Goodwill overprices things, but I mean, it still has his hanging tag, and they only want it $14.99. So I thought, great. I mean, look how cute. I don't have this one. He has a crack here, but that does not bother me because that happens sometimes with time, you know, and a lot of my nutcrackers are in the attic or in the garage and the heat might do something like that but look how beautiful it's a cuckoo clock and these are made in germany if you didn't know but that's gonna be this is gonna be added to my collection it is so cute um gotta be careful with that okay so then also let me finish with these this was only two dollars this is a marie osmond fine porcelain and this is a she had she has collectible dolls or had collectible dolls and this one is bit of bunny now i picked it up because first of all it was only 1.99 it was in the box and marie osmond i still see them being sold people are still collecting them and I thought it was cute. So you have a little person in a, and the thing is that well, the best part is that it's a hundred percent mohair and porcelain. So it's not. I mean, it's well made. It's mohair, and look how cute this thing is. Isn't it cute? So I'll be listing that on my eBay. And again, if there's anything that you guys want from any of this haul, just let me know. Um, I can make an invoice through PayPal. Um, because I take my time listing these things. It's just hard work. Anyway, so I like buying, finding these baskets because they're usually $50 online. 
even on eBay and Amazon, they're $50. Um, but I only spend $2.99 on this. Now, sure, it has Christmas colors. Um, but you know what? I'm going to display this for Christmas. I'm going to keep this one. Unless I see online that it's going for a lot of money, then maybe. I mean, this is a unique color. I've never seen this color. Um, I'm assuming, like I said, it's a holiday one. And, oh, and it has a little hanging thing. How nice and convenient is that? I usually um, nail it through the middle, but this would be nice so you don't ruin the basket. Okay, I don't know why my camera just stopped recording, but, and it's pretty thick and heavy. It's not flimsy, like I picked some up there, pretty flimsy. Then I couldn't resist this when I went to the uh, Christmas aisle. I remember Debbie Mum. I don't know if you guys remember that, collecting like in the early 2000s. So this actually is, doesn't say what year it is. It's got to be the early 2000s or even the, the late 90s. But this was made by Sakura, which is Oneida. And these are teapots with the box and everything. And um, when I open it up from its, I mean, $2.99. And these are, people are like coming back to trying to collect all this stuff that, you know, like Warren Kimball. Um, there's David Brown, I think is his name. And he also has primitive stuff. And it's not really primitive. It's Mary Anglebright was also one. Um, but yeah, look how cute this is. All hand painted. And look at the size, it's not tiny but it's not big but it's in between and it's sign everyone so this looks like it was never used or displayed brand new I was happy to see that so like new old stock let's make sure we put it in right and then not only did I get find one, I found another one. So yeah, these are considered mini mini teapot series. This one is a gingerbread house, and also two ninety nine, and has like a aged look to it. It's not aged. It's just that's the way it's supposed to look. Take this out without getting all the all the stuff all over the the place. Okay, look how cute that is. No chips or cracks or repairs. Hand painted. Let me see if it has a year on it. Nope, doesn't have a year. Wait, there's a little sticker here that might have the year. Nope, but it just says it's hand painted. Might have it on the box. It's good to know the year. Just so you know. I think it's considered vintage at this point. And it's nice that the box came with it. It just says earthenware, hand wash only, do not microwave. Debbie Mom. Let's see, this one has the year. No, but I remember it was early 2000s, maybe even the late 90s. And I think that is all. Oh, the last, the big thing that I bought that I'm keeping, and because first of all, it's too big to even ship. Um, but it's something so beautiful and I'm gonna upcycle it. This bird cage. Tell me that's not amazing. It's 
stuck to this. There's an original sticker on it, which I'm going to remove right now. It was $229.95. Looked like it was part of a furniture place. And it was on sale for $128.88. And I did pay up for this. So the sticker says $44.99. But there was a 15% off. So I think I paid about 30 something. My mind doesn't work fast enough to do math. But uh, it's dusty right now. Uh, it looks like it's never been used. It's not a real bird cage, so I don't have to worry about cleaning. But I've always wanted one of these, like with the round top. And I, I'm thinking of painting it white, spray painting it white, because the wood is very dark. But then again, the wood my this color might look good with my white or black furniture that I have. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I paint it white? I mean, I think it would look so nice painting white, but this also looks nice. I just need to dust it. But, not too, too big, because I've seen really big ones. And this is just right from for what I have in my house. It's really cute. Everything's, you can even open the door here. I don't know if you can see that. You could put plants in it if you want, but it's really nice. Okay, so that's, that is it for now. And I'm going to be busy this week listing the stuff. And I have other stuff that I need to go through and I might do a haul for that. Um, like I said, if you're interested in any of the stuff, you can uh, shoot me a message. Again, my email is thegracefullilymarket at gmail.com or you can message me here on YouTube. Um, what else? And I do have an Instagram. So it's the same name, The Graceful Lily Market. And also I have Facebook, same name, The Graceful Lily Market. And... Um, so that's it for now and um, uh, forgive me if this is th these videos are really amateur looking I need to learn more about how to edit um, so be patient but um, I'm put, trying to give you good contact good go contact that way you guys can enjoy it so uh, with that please like subscribe and what else like subscribe and uh let your friends know about this um this channel and i also besides thrifting i like fashion um collecting um anything home decor so it'll be more uh just more than just thrifting so i'll have that and just so i know uh let me know what you really like um seeing if you like more thrifting videos you like fashion you like um collections home decor uh that way i can put out more of those videos that you like so thank you again my name is susan and thank you for joining me and i'll see you another time thanks so while I was making a video, my husband was has been busy cooking and because he likes smoking food, he made this delicious cheesy casserole with bacon. So it's like a macaroni and cheese with bacon and jalapenos. So it tastes really good. He's made this before. Let's get that. Make sure we close that right. Now look, our English Bulldog wants some already. Because she can smell the bacon. Say hi! And then and this is the smoke pork he made. And the barbecue sauce.
but it's gonna be good eating tonight. This is our Sunday dinner. But he likes to smoke even during the week. So this is what, so I hope everybody's having a good Sunday night. So enjoy.